I liked pulling into that bowl and just being like, what, there's a, a scalable bowl here? Where are we? Is there electricity here? Oh my god, that is so insane. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude, I'll fuck myself up. No, you, I've done it twice. I just smoked weed. I drank in six beers. There's no way I'm doing that. It's only day one of the trip. If it was like day nine and we were closer to San Diego, will you get that medevac thing out? <laughs> right? I like all the contrasts, man. Mexico's really laid back, and the beer's cheap, and the smokes are cheap, and there's no pretty girls anywhere, so I'm not getting in trouble with my, like, my woman. That's good. <laughs> he just wanted an excuse to hack shit up with a big knife. Toss it in. Mexico is fucking sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Found an old church that was kind of cool. Climbed around in it. And then came back later and blew it up. I don't know where anyone, where we got them from, but someone had a big bag of apple bombs and little uh, firecrackers, little bombs or whatever, and we just threw them in the little empty cement box out back. Dude, I felt that shit. You know that's not a crib, that's a No, that's a water tank. Oh, that was probably a uh, the day. This is Harvey with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is Harvey with ten fingers. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, That was the best one. I like the heads of it second push at it. That's it, that's it. <laughs> that was awesome. Luna Mas. Uh, I used to know the name of the people that built this. The missionaries? Gringos. Really? I wonder if they just didn't notice there wasn't a town around. It's a long way to build a church. Small town. The other town, six, six and a half miles. If you need to get your tequila or anything. The dirt bike guy, I have no idea. That dude was a wing nut. Guaranteed. And everything was pioneered by off-road racers and surfers down here as far as good spots to go to. Everybody's running from something, whether it's running from you know a 40 hour a week job or responsibilities or just tired of the rat race. And I think they come down here and just get turned on by the freedom and they want to come down and not pay much taxes and live somewhere where they can sort of do what they want and check out. I've been living here now for 30 years. Uh, back in 1980, I came down here with a lot of friends, come down here surfing all the time, and I uh, ended up with an opportunity to buy a piece of property down here. And I had a lot of friends in construction, so we nabbed a bunch of wood and stuff from the job sites and came down here, saved our money up, and I started building a little spot. And uh, that's how really Quattro Casas as a surf community started, because I was the first person to come out here and make it a place to live, you know. You ever come to Mexico, don't worry, there's no danger out here. We're far away from all the city and all the trouble. This place is famous for its wave because it's real long. And uh, we get that off South Swell, so when the Antarctic starts to go into its winter, drop it! <laughs> These guys are burning themselves. Straight up, straight up, Hi! Hey, fire!
Fire it that way, because otherwise, if it, if it hits those solar panels, it's going to be problems. <laughs> That's oh, proper man. candy. <laughs> Burning wood, chopping fucking shit with an axe is fucking pretty awesome. A fire to me is like watching TV. I love fire. I like burning things down, and I think it's just in my blood mostly. I think. Yeah, because he's like from Finland, and I was in Sweden before, and I know they're all like outdoorsy people and then I heard like he had the nickname of uh, yeah, Norseman yeah, of the Woods or something. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Well he was kind of like another guy that I'd seen in skate videos since I was really young and you know, all these pretty epic skate videos for years since I was a little kid. Yeah. Well, he's a lot bigger in person so he seems just kind of like a woodsman to me because like I, I haven't really even seen him skate that much since we've been on the trip. What's your toe? <laughs> like as much as I love skating, I don't want to hear about it 24 seven. So I think I get along better with like-minded people who like skating, but don't want to talk yeah. about it, really. So it's been easy getting along with him. That's what she said. Ooh. Nine months later. <laughs> <laughs> you should throw it on, you did it. Yeah, yeah this it. team effort. The oh, okay. honors of Do it. On. Right. I just had the torch passed. When we got the Quattro Casas, just that whatever, San Diego to Quattro Casas, what was that, 150 miles? It's like for those two days that we spent there, I couldn't even think about skating. My, like, my ass piece was so just mm tense because like, it's like can't get my legs moving. I haven't ridden a bike for a year before I came on this trip. There's another little group of skaters that come from San Diego, they all come down on their hogs. Yeah. Skateboards tied on the back. Hell yeah. What's up with all his dogs? Yeah, everybody has a lot of dogs out here. You gotta have them, you know, for, keep for, for protection. They don't live long. No. Not out here in the wild, nah, shit kills them. Other dogs, coyotes, raccoons, bobcats. They just get, yeah, they just disappear. I don't see them again. They all have disease names, even the cats. There's measles and their three kids, which is Valium, Vicodin, and Viagra, the three orange ones. Then there's Ebola and, um, God, what's your other, what's one that looks like her? I forget her name. Pneumonia. That's it, pneumonia. And then there's ronchas. Ronchas means hives. I run out of names. I got to think of new names, and I don't like to give the same name to, the, to an animal, so. And sexual diseases. <laughs> <laughs> Giving me new names. <laughs> you guys have a good night, and I'll see you in the morning. All right? All right, guys. I think people get psyched anytime they see like a pack of bikers I think they get in the middle of nowhere on like the long stretches of highways or whatever. Like people are just like, um, yeah, people are like, they're going somewhere, they're doing things. Like, they're like I mean, like I see people looking at us like, on the road, going like, yeah, I think when there's multiple of you, yeah, you know, yeah. there's like a pack. Yeah, like, well, I secretly, you know, you're curious. Yeah, I'm you're very, motorcycle I'm curious. very motorcycle curious. <laughs> you know, you know I, you just I, need to let I look yourself at, go. I look at motorcycles at the same time I masturbate. You know, I, I look. This is a whole thing. Whoa! You know, I, Whoa. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure what that means. You know, Let's I, go I, ahead and make sure you mark private, that in section. Private. You know, I'm like. There is a camera. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Some things you may want to keep. In private. You know, I look at these motorcycles in private. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, god damn it! I know what I want. I know what I want. I know exactly what I want. And I just got to pull the trigger and I got to do it and I just... <laughs> it's the bromance. <laughs> this is the bromantic weekend getaways.